Boxwood are easy to grow for most of us. They're deer resistant, which is great for any of us who have deer. And we've got three herds of deer around here. One of the herds has got to have 13 or 14 deer. And you know, a friend of mine told me, uh, one of my good friends, if the deer really looked huge, they're gonna have three fawns. If the deer looks like it's pregnant, it might have two. And in many cases, the deer will have one fawn and you won't even be able to tell. But, so if you have deer problems, plant boxwoods, but early in the season, there is a problem that affects boxwoods. Now we use boxwoods for decorating. We make wreaths, we make arrangements. Um, there's all different types. You can plant the common boxwood here, which can get as tall as 15 to 20 feet. We've not pruned this one and it could very well be 75 years old, but they do get a problem. It's known as the boxwood silly, and it's a very small, tiny insect that you can see. And uh, they almost look like uh, cotton, little tufts of cotton. Now, if you take your hand and go like this, it's raining snow. But these, and that's one of the ways you can tell, and there's one of the insects. A lot of times I tell people, take a sheet of white paper on a clipboard and go like this. And if you have insects, you'll be able to see them crawling on a sheet of white paper. The problem with boxwood psyllids is after their damage is done, they create, or the new foliage that comes out tends to be cupped like little balls. So the leaves do not open up nice and flat. Uh, when these insects suck the juices out of the leaves on these shoots, the, as parts of the leaf grow, parts of the leaf don't grow, and they produce what we call these little, look like little round balls. So what do you do? A couple things you can do. You can use an all season oil, something like Bonides all season oil, and a spray oil, and that controls it. I've heard of some people taking molasses, and um, when the insect flies around to lay the eggs on the new shoot tips, the insect gets stuck on the molasses. So they, and I'm not sure what the, the rate is or anything on that, but that's what they have used because they didn't really want to use a chemical. And then there's a wide variety of chemicals that you can use to control boxwood psyllids. Now, I have not sprayed these yet, and um, I'm in the Shenandoah Valley in between Stanton and Waynesboro. It's the uh, beginning of the second week in May, and that's when these become really prevalent. Ideally, I should have sprayed two weeks ago when I first saw it. Now, they're starting to coat this plant. Now would be a perfect time to go in and spray so I don't get this on the foliage. Because what happens is all the foliage will look like this, a little bit of brown and it curls, and you can't really use them in nice decorations. I'm Mark Viette. Join me next time in the garden.